What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today is day two of the 72 Bronco build. Obviously you guys saw yesterday us tearing down that the chassis, got it all primed, painted. It's actually sitting in the paint booth right now. I'll run over there and get a quick update on that, see how that dried up. I haven't even been in there, I've been here for about an hour now. But uh, this is what we're working on today. Stripping down the axles, get these things painted up. We're gonna take the radius arms off. Obviously we gotta redo everything in here. Seals, we gotta open up this diff, uh, the diff cover. See if how these gears or what these gears look like. See if we need to replace any of these things, which they probably need to be replaced, but definitely seals for sure. All the bushings, bump stops, stuff like that. Everything's gonna be new. Um, all of the diff bolts. Um, if you guys haven't already caught on yet, you know, I'm super OCD about all this. We get all new bolts. I don't know if we're gonna do zinc or like a grade eight, but same thing with the nuts. On these, obviously we'll have a new hardware for the rear leafs. And yeah, that's where we're at. So I'm gonna get these things stripped down real quick and get the time lapse going and keep you guys up to date. The axles all stripped down, sanded down, get some primer on these things, get these things in the paint booth. So I'm just working on some heavy oh, grease, is. stuff that we don't want the paint lifting. But uh yeah, it's going it's going pretty good. Ready for more paint? Yep, yeah, we got all the the brake lines off. Um Really, just, you know, just <laughs> broke down the last couple little pieces we want to take off so we can get paint to all the areas. So, yeah, what's left? We get huh? the booth, wipe down some wax grease remover. Yep. You know, the spots that aren't perfect, like right here where the, the radius arms go on, I mean, we're not really concerned about it. I mean, it's it, it'll never be seen. And it's yeah. no as long as deal. it's not bare metal, we're, we're yep. all good. But it's going smooth. Just want to give you guys a quick update, so stay tuned. All right, guys, in the paint booth. Got everything hung, you saw the time lapse. First time hanging anything from these supports up on the roof, so we'll see how they hold up. All right. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> but, well, getting it done. Get this all sprayed black, let it sit, clean up, and go on our parts chase. Figure out what we're gonna get. We need some motor mounts, stuff like that. But I don't know. How you feel right now, Chris? How's it going? We moving right along? Dude, it's a good day to paint. <laughs> it is a good day to paint. Feels like it's about 60-ish, 60-ish range. Is it? Yeah, I think it's supposed to be mid-60s today. You don't have that winter coat, so it's probably a lot colder for you. I like, never had that winter coat. I'm, I'm like, always lean. I'm like, it feels like it's solid like 78, 80 right now. <laughs> I said it's that winter coat. You know? Yeah, and the sad part is layer of the, lumber. <laughs> the sad part is it's not even like the end of winter. It's like the early winter coat. Oh, dude, right? It's gonna get me worse. <laughs> the bad part is the summertime when you when you still like, have your winter coat, <laughs> giving the house to your truck. <laughs> I'm like, dude, there's three steps out your front door. Why you out of breath? <laughs> Yeah, luckily I got the paint booth in here pushing fresh air back in my lungs. All right. <laughs> I don't need a I don't need a machine. But quick update, that's where we're at. So stay tuned, we'll get this thing painted and get this stuff all finished up.
All right, guys. Made some more progress today since we uh, now have a working paint booth. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm excited about this. All this work building this paint booth and getting the shop put together. Dogs do not be in the paint booth. Yeah. Well, it came out nice. Yeah, we're gonna go through, you know, we're gonna replace all the nuts and bolts and whatnot. We really like that clean look to where it's just grade A, you know, hardware that's still exposed, not um, not painted over. Cause I mean, yes, this is a good, nice look, you know, just clean paint, but personally, and Jared's the same way. So this is what we do. We're just gonna replace the nuts and bolts. Um, just zip one in at a time. We're gonna do a, uh, most likely, do an aftermarket dip cover. Um, just to kind of give it a little bit more of a, of a fill look. Even though this one does not look bad. No. So we almost leave it. Maybe just change the bolts out. Yep. But yeah, that's, that's kind of one of our big deals. We just, you know, paint it, paint it, assemble, whatnot, and just one bolt at a time. Take it out, put a fresh bolt in, torque it to the, to the uh, whatever the torque specs are, and just make it to where it looks nice and clean. I think that that is the cleanest look because it really looks like something that's completely disassembled and reassembled. It looks factory brand new. Sorry guys, camera died, but we're back. <laughs> and we switched sides. <laughs> <laughs> we did, didn't we? Yeah, it all turned out really good though. Like I said, we're just gonna swap out some bolts, nuts, whatever. Um, but what's on here it is all gonna be assembled just the way it is. And then literally, after everything is together, we just go through, swap out some nuts, swap out some bolts, just to just, it, it adds something that, uh, one thing. I think it comes from the, the rock crawler background. You see a lot of guys, I swear, they just go through the rattle can and just spray everything gloss black. <laughs> and it looks worse than if it was just raw metal, like most of the time. Like this. They paint, yep, they paint right over the this looks. Absolutely horrible, all black. But, but second, you change out those nuts. And it was like a million dollar axle. Yep, <laughs> yep. But yeah, so we're gonna let this in here and do its deal. Uh, the frame turned out really well. It's, it's perfectly nice and hard and smooth. This morning, uh, there was a couple small little spots that uh, Jared went and touched up. So I think we're gonna get that authored history onto the lift and we're gonna go source the transmission. So I think that's pretty much the full video as far as today with the painting and whatnot goes. And we will be back for uh, two days. Uh, yeah, we got a day uh, off. Kind yeah. of, kind of. Yeah, we'll so, see what happens. But also a quick update on the paint booth, little review. Obviously you guys can see the floor. It's absolutely driving me nuts right now. We did put down the protective. We <laughs> so this stuff is, <laughs> oh, I was like, I, was, I thought a bolt fell out of the paint. Bolt falling so, out. Well, so you can see that it's just nasty. That's not gonna come up unless there's some serious work done to it. But if I was to do this paint booth all over again, because we can have different requests and you know what color we wanted all of these. Um, I probably would have asked them to do like a full great floor. That would have been sick. Honestly, it's what it is because if it's all because if it had a great floor, well, it doesn't matter. If it was a black floor, you're gonna overspray it with blue, red, white, black, whatever you know, white, blue. It doesn't matter what color the floor is. It's gonna get overspray. No, especially being just like draft. the whole floor would have been this. The great. Oh, the greats. Yeah. There that would have been sick. Option. Yeah. That was an option. I think it was a few hundred bucks. I'm not gonna lie, like I, that's probably one of those things where you can almost just call them and say, hey, you know, I want to do three more rows of the grates, which it wouldn't be a bad deal. I don't know why they even have these solid floors on the outside because there's really no reason besides, you know, maybe a cart that rolls around in there smoothly without. Well, I think it's also so it can direct the flow where it actually sucks to these two just reducing locations. the reducing that flow right right kind of like on the shop back if you're going to detail out your car 
you drop down from that two inch hose that comes with them, you get the detailing ones. That's probably and true. And you get more suction. That's probably true. So because it was, wouldn't, it wouldn't suck. You know what? Was, it's what we have. We're gonna live with it. Yep. Better than, better than eating all the overspray all day. I mean, I could literally come in here and spray with no respirator, and it would be no big it's deal. Still a bad idea. So, <laughs> yeah. but. But yeah, yeah, it's we're gonna go try to see if we can go pick up that transmission hopefully today or at least set it up to pick up for tomorrow. Um, the frame is still doing its deal. We're gonna get that inside. Then we'll be back to reassemble, throw the axles back underneath the frame. These tires and wheels are just rollers for now. And uh, then we'll be able to start assembly. Hopefully if we're able to grab that transmission, the engine, the transmission. We already have the transfer case, whatnot. We can start actually piecing that together. And then real soon, that body's gonna be sitting right here, getting painted. We have narrowed it down to two different colors. <laughs> really we'll, one color. We'll, we'll keep them in the loop with it. You, you wanna let them know or not? No, 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 no. We'll just keep it in the loop. <coughs> no, keep them out of the loop. Out of the loop, yeah, gotcha. correct. We are yeah. in the loop. They're out of the loop. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all it's all that paint. It's all oh, that yeah. paint over spray. We're feeling good right now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think we'll uh, we'll update them with that when. There's two colors right now that we're kind of kind of sitting on. There's one definitely one we're leaning towards because it looks better uh, with a lot of the accent but, pieces and a and resell. It's a yeah a little easier for a resell than one of the other colors that we've been trying to go for, but still throw in the comments what you think. I mean, we did get another we satin black. It. We, we did, did have guys say satin black. Oh, another one this morning. Really? Another one satin black. So, and I'm, and I'm definitely a fan of the black. I was just telling Chris that yesterday, the black looks so good. Black on black. I'm not a black on black type of person when it comes to the cars and stuff. <laughs> Easy there, Chris. <laughs> I didn't say, I said nothing. <laughs> But that's where we're at, guys. You know, it came out good. You know, a lot of stuff that's happened in the last two days. I got stuff to do tomorrow. Hope I can sneak back in here for some little stuff. But Friday, we will be back here reassembling. So maybe we'll grab some hardware today. That transmission. What do we need hardware for? All this little stuff. No, we'll do that. Oh, end. no, we do we'll that thing. Yeah, we'll get a big list of all that stuff. So, yeah, just like Chris said, a little bit of transmission. Call the guy, get that all squared away, and that's a big deal. Yeah, it's a big deal. Because everything that. else, we're you know we're good. We have we have everything but the the transmission, the transfer case. Yep. 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 So, all right, guys, that's enough jib jabbing. Yep. We'll uh, we'll keep you guys up to date in the next video.